so now uh, so this is the answer to this problem so for those who are interested in how you derive this uh, we can move on to a new page so the way you derive this first of all you start off with uh, parameterization of the surface uh, of the spherical shell so if you want to parameterize your uh, your sphere you essentially you would get something like this so sine theta cosine phi sine theta sine phi plus r cosine theta k so essentially uh, the theta it ranges from 0 to pi phi it ranges from 0 to 2 pi so essentially this is a this uh, vector over here uh, it every single point it po always points to the surface of the sphere so put, uh, uh, every point in this so for every number that you substitute inside this vector here is going to point to the surface of the sphere and f uh, theta is going to range from 0 to pi phi is going to range from 0 to 2 pi so as that essentially draws out the entire sphere so the way we get dA so dA is equal to the partial derivative of r with respect to theta cross partial derivative with respect to phi d theta d phi and the reason for that is equal to uh, you can think of it as uh, you're trying to cut up this uh, sphere into tiny tiny pieces and you're trying to add these up uh, all these pieces up together and what is the area of this tiny piece so all you have to do is take these two vectors and then do the cross product and that's essentially these two these two components here so these two are vectors, and then once you take the cross product, you'll get uh, a vector that points in a direction that's perpendicular to the surface. And so that is why this cross product gives us the direction that is perpendicular to the surface, which in the end, it gives us this r hat over here. So that's that. And the magnitude of this uh, cross product is going to be equal to the surface of this tiny piece over here. So this is going to be at dA. This is going to be the area of that. It has a magnitude that is equal to the area of this tiny piece over here. So in the end, if we just integrate throughout this entire thing, it will, will give us the entire surface area. So now let us concern ourselves with trying to uh, take the cross product of this expression. So of course, first of all, we need to take the partial derivative. Sine theta becomes cosine theta. And again, cosine theta. And uh, negative sine theta k. And then here we take the derivative with respect to phi. We get sine phi i so this would be a plus so cosine phi j and then this should be zero sorry so uh, there are no phi components here so it's just zero so now let's take the cross product of these two expressions so we have i j k and then here we get r cosine theta cosine phi r cosine theta sine phi negative r sine theta and then for that bottom term we have negative r sine theta sine phi r sine theta cosine phi zero and now let's take the we just evaluate this like any normal determinant so this multiplies together gives you zero. Multiply this together, you get r squared sine squared theta cosine phi. And then minus j. Multiply these together, you get zero. And then minus r squared sine squared theta sine phi. And then plus k. Multiply these together. r squared sine theta cosine theta cosine squared phi. And then you minus this. So in the end, you get a plus because of the minus sign here. R squared sine theta, cosine theta, sine squared phi. So now we're going to pull out uh, some terms over here. We're going to pull out an R squared, and we're going to pull out a sine theta. And in the inside, what we're left with is sine theta, cosine phi i, plus uh, sine theta, sine phi j, plus... <clears throat> and over here, you see that uh, you have a sine squared theta, uh, sine squared phi plus cosine squared phi, and essentially you can just pull this uh, term here out. And 
once these add together, there's just be equal to one. So all we're going to be left with here is just r squared sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta. And after pulling out r squared sine theta, we get cosine theta k. And if you recognize this, this vector here is actually just equal to r hat. So in the end, we get r squared sine theta r hat. So this is what this cross product evaluates to. So now substituting back into this formula here. So just get rid of this. So in the end, we get uh, r squared sine theta d theta d phi r hat, which is what we used over here to evaluate our surface interval.